Several members of the UVA football program have ties to our nation's military, including coaches Mike London, Tom O'Brien, Scott Wackenheim, and first-year wide receiver Andre Lavroni. You know, in my choices of college, I ended up choosing to go to the Naval Academy. Uh, when I was there, uh, you have service selection night, February of, the, of the, the year that you graduate. At that time, this was uh, 1971, and at least Vietnam was winding down a little bit, but uh, I chose to be a Marine. Uh, I was playing high school football in Southern California. I had two offers to play. One was at Cal State Northridge, and one was at the Air Force Academy, and took official visits to both places and enjoyed my time at the Air Force Academy. So I decided to go there and play football and uh, get a great degree, great education, knowing that I would have to serve uh, in our armed forces when uh, I graduated. My father, he was in the Marines for four years. I got a brother who served a tour in Iraq. He's, he was in the Army for eight years. And my, my grandfather, he was in the Army for 30 plus years. He was a Colonel in Green Beret Special Forces. This group of Cavaliers has all seen a direct translation of what they learned through their involvement in the Armed Forces play out on the football field. The Air Force Academy teaches you a lot about leadership and it also teaches you that uh, you can do a lot more than you think you can do. They all test you to your physical, your mental, emotional, and spiritual limits. So I think you can use that when you're coaching young men at, at places. It also teaches you discipline, uh, time management, all things that are critical for student athletes. You always have to be accountable and reliable for those around you because, I mean, they, they tell me, like, if you're in war, you, you're accountable for somebody's life. I mean, on the football field, the stakes aren't quite as high, but things of that nature and uh, work ethic, things like that, you just can't ever be outworked. You're just reliable for, for your teammates. You look at honor, courage, commitment. I mean, those are the, the, the key words of the Marine Corps. The honor is doing the right thing at the right, any time doing the right thing. What's courage? Courage is honor in action, making sure that you can do it. And commitment means you're all in. Doesn't mean you're gonna hold a chip back or not. So, you know, when you, you take the honor, you take the courage and take the commitment, I think those are all things that are life values that was uh, instilled in me a long time ago. The honor and respect that is given to the armed forces on Military Appreciation Day and in everyday life is not overlooked by the Virginia football family. Oh, this is great because, I mean, Although, although a lot of times this military is looked at upon like selfless acts, uh, it's always good to, to be appreciated for the things that you do for your country and for others. And it's great that we're gonna take the time out to do something like that. You know, today it's so gratifying to me to see the way that we uh, respect the men and women in uniform. You know, I'm at the airport flying back from recruiting the other day from Miami. And the announcement all the time is, those in military in uniform can board the plane first. I mean, that never happened in 1970, I promise you that. So, you know, we've come a long way in a lot of respects and we can't ever thank them for the sacrifices that they do each and every day for us.